Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, guys. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I do appreciate your support. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good day. Char Fooder. The Char Fooder. It's Blues Traveler Clan HZ underscore HZ underscore. Fantastic. The Char Fooder on the map called Proc Himmelsdorf Ova. Here it is. Here it is. Proc. One of my favorite maps. Maybe my favorite map. Always in contention. Easily top five, potentially top two, maybe number one. I don't know. I like the map. Tier nine and eight, and the char fooder is going back to camp. Well, that's not all he does because he's going to have a really nice little result. We're going to talk about it as we get there. Looks like he's not camping. He's actually going up for this bush. This is a bush that I don't use much, but I probably should. Oops. No, we're just going to auto aim this guy. I don't know what that T32 is doing, but... Uh, if the uh, plan was to drive into the open and die, then it was well executed. The bush is decent, but it can be... Sp Ooh, okay. I don't know what's happening now. Okay, we're going to the next bush. There we go. There we Ooh, even further. Oh my... What the... And part of our tank is sticking out. How did we get away with that? I don't... Don't shoot. Is he going to shoot? No, he's not going to shoot. Okay. Holy cow, here comes some big... <clears throat> Chub, chubby fellas, some big people. T95, AT15, both getting spotted. We have a lot of campers back behind us. The standard 1-2 camping meeting is going on back there. The fire has been built. The marshmallows are out. And I believe the first s'more is about to be eaten back there. Maybe even the beer is cold by now. I don't know. Look at the scorpions. Like, I know you're in there. Somebody is... <laughs> What is he looking at? The ground? I don't know. He stopped moving, so his camo increases after a bit, and he disappears. If he starts moving again, more than likely... I don't know. Maybe one of the scouts saw him. He's right outside spotting. Look at the T95. T95 says, I will just attack. I think he's got the Sakura Storm camo going on right there. Yeah, we may have to start shooting. Here's my question, Blues. Here's my question. How well... Oh, you are pretty decently in that bush. All right. I may have hit C and reloaded, by the way, a while ago, knowing that if I was just going to do the spotting thing and not shoot, you really don't want to shoot. I think he knows that. That's why he's trying to avoid it. Oh, now there's a charioteer. These guys are really, they're, they're attacking. This happens a lot. You get T-95s or these big armored tanks moving forward, and other guys try to follow up, and they get just a little too close. And he may not have realized that the T-95 was just absolutely spotted the entire time. He hasn't taken much damage. These guys are really just fire. What is a T10 as well? Here they come. <laughs> Muppet push on the way. Here come the lemmings. T10 says, I will use your armor. T95 says, I am your armor and shield. Uh, T10's trying to get shots. T95 is somehow not taking shots, but nobody wants to shoot T95. Why? Because there's a T10 to munch on. What is that? What is he doing? What's the. <laughs> 954, 1,349 assist. T95 is starting to take hits. Now that he gets down to about half hit points, people start to get a little concerned, and he wants to start backing out. Unfortunately, he has driven so far into the Char Fooders view range that he's going to have a really hard time getting out of it. I'm surprised the T10 hasn't disintegrated, but he is about to head back to the garage and join the other Char Fooder, the T32 and the Scorpion. There we go. Or he's typing. He could potentially be typing about how bad his team is. Down goes the T95 and a failed push, an absolute disaster for the purples. And now we found that guy, the uh, object 705 is also camping. On <laughs> he takes a hit. He's trying to get out. Mm. And now we're on the move. Blues has 3,393 assist. Pushing forward in the char fooder. Oh, that guy saw me. I think I might as well shoot him. Yeah, just get going. Just get out of there. Holy cow, somebody saw us. Maybe the AT. Who knows? We're going to auto-aim that guy. We'll just give him a little hello. How you doing as we go by? And we'll gather up some more spotting for 4,760 and try to get away over the hill. There we go. There we go. Looks like a win all around, my friends. 5,626. I'm going to have to start thinking about that bush he went to. Um, is that new? Have I missed it all these years? I don't. 
I know I used to go there a long, long time ago, but uh, it's been a long time since I've gone there, to be honest. And we found the uh, 705. Let's clean up on aisle two. Char fooder coming in. Is he going to get. Oop. No, that was. It's going to finish him off. Oh my gosh, there's 42 of them back here. There's. <laughs> Holy cow, we got shots coming in. There are other charfooters behind us. We're trying to go around the ISM. We put a shot on him, but we're all out of shells. Doesn't matter. ISM dies to the campers who have apparently left all of the s'mores back at the camping grounds and are on their way. Are we going to eat it? Yeah, the charfooter is after us. He might be out of shells, potentially, or we were able to cover up behind the dead tank and the terrain. And he survives at 7,439 assists, 1,511 damage. And we're turning back around our last clip of regular ammo APCR. It's just a win all around, my friends. They've only lost a KPZ-07RH. We've been spotted. There's an A... The A Phase 1 was that far back, so that guy camped in the corner. Holy cow. Pretty standard for proc, to be honest, on Himmel's proc. For super camping teams, when you can get a competent spotter forward and you have enough you have enough snipers behind you, it just ends up being an absolute romple stomp. Really well done. This ends up being a patrol duty. I think he's actually over 8,000. We'll have to look at the card as I recall. There was some extra spotting in there somewhere on a dark tank that didn't get counted until after the uh, the recount, as it were. But like I said, pretty standard on this map if you can get a competent spotter. It is a lot of fun. It is no fun being on the purple team. <laughs> they did not have fun. That Char Fooder platoon, what were they doing? I don't know. It looked like they were camping as well. Seems like if they'd have been aggressive, that could have been an absolute game changer, but wasn't paying too close attention to what they were doing. Well done, Blues Traveler. Sent, thanks for sending that in. It's always nice to see those big games. Um, yeah, it was just kind of a face kicking, though, wasn't it? <laughs> That's all I've got for today, guys. Take it easy, and we will see you.